hi guys you're welcome to the second part of the video and as you can see price is going down towards my take profit uh, in the first part of the video i was able to show you uh, how i placed my sell trade and how i was able to place the pending edge order buy stop how i uh, place the take profit for my sell trade and my buy stop the take profit is 30 pips and now i also uh, calculated the stop loss uh, for the sell trade and the buy stop that's in the previous video okay now price is going down towards my air uh, price is selling okay as expected and my hedge pending order the buy stop at the above is yet to be triggered so i'm still good uh, but the purpose of placing the hedge trade is if price goes up against my sell trade uh, i have like an insurance uh, that will cover my trade that will cover my account i don't get to blow my account don't get, get to lose a large chunk or get i don't get to get, have a, a drawdown that will affect me so i place the buy stop 3.0 lot size at 1742.472 of course that is yet to be triggered i will only have my initial trade running and it is in profit uh, I'm expected to take profit 30 pips uh, below the sell trade but for from the look of it I only have 12 pips or is it 13 pips right now I mean profit of 13 pips uh, the target is 30 pips 30 pips at a time uh, with the edge spacing of 49 pips Okay, you can see all these all these um, parameters in the previous video. Okay, so price is going down, and it's sliding towards my uh, take profit as expected. Uh, I'm gonna win this trade, and I hope to keep on winning until Power Ranger my hedge trade gets triggered and I start to apply uh, the grill edge strategy okay the first running trade for this particular account uh, the lot size is 1.0 lot size and now the buy stop above which is my first edge trade uh, my first edge pending order uh, the lot size is 3.0 lots okay so if that gets triggered I have two running trade I'll have two running trades and I'm gonna need the second hedge pending order. And the lot size for that will be 8.0 lot size. F the first hedge pending order is a buy stop. The second hedge pending order will be a sell stop. And the sell stop will be placed at the point where I currently have, it will be placed around the point where I currently have my sell trade running. That's my initial sell trade. Now, if that gets triggered, I'll have three running trades. I'm going to place the final, uh, the last pending order, which is going to be a buy stop. And that will be placed around where I have the buy, current buy stop, 3.0 lot size. And if that gets triggered, that means the range continues. And I start to look for the direction. I start to wait for the direction where price will head. If price is going to go up, that means all my trades will be closed at break even. If price is going to go down, that means I have to wait and wait and see how it pans out. Of course, I'm going to unlock uh, some, some stop loss, which is going to be for the buy stop, the last uh, buy stop, which is going to be 24.0 loss. I will lose the stop loss so that I don't have to get to lose uh, almost half of my account. I will lose the stop loss and I start to monitor if every other trade is going to close out. Then I have a large chunk of lot size running. Then I'll see if price is still going to go up or it's still going to uh, 
slide further or it's still going to range further if it ranges further good for me that means it's going to go up back to my 24.0 lot side which is the last pending order and then that's going to give me a break even and i'll be happy but if it goes up that means it's going to trigger my take profit okay and i will also go on with some profit but if, go, if it goes down i'm going to monitor and see how i'm going to wrap up the trade i wrap up the trade by ensuring that I hedge probably with equal lot size or I'll see if it's going to go my my way. If I hedge with equal lot size of 24.0 lot size, then I may have to wait for some time for price to go back up. If go back up, I unlock the, the last hedge and then unlock or close out the running by trade so but for now this trade is going my way it's selling as expected uh, i explained the reason why i took the trade in the initial video you can go to the initial video to see uh, how it all started but for now price is going down towards my take profit and this particular trade is as good as one it's as good as one okay most definitely definitely i'm gonna book some profit uh it's now 18 pips now 19 pips in profit still sliding towards my target no cause for alarm as far as this trade is concerned it appeared in the initial video as if it was going to go up, as if I made the wrong decision by selling. But from the look of it right now, it is selling. That means I took the right decision. But you can't win all the time while trading XAUSD gold. That is why you need a strategy like this, this so that you can always reduce your loss or go uh, or have break even whenever you did not win the trade so if you win one trade you break even the other trade you win another next trade you break even break even win win you you're a winner okay and as much as you are not losing okay and that gives you the opportunity to fine tune your winning strategy so that you the amount of uh, break even will be much more reduced right now i have 25 pips uh the target was supposed to be 30 pips now the price has hit the 25 pips mark i think it's good to close right now i think it's okay because at times you don't really need to wait for take profit to be triggered just book some profit and smile and wait for the next opportunity because you can never tell price never stops as it is about to eat your target you can decide to go back up and you end up losing and start to manage uh, hedge start to hedge place first edge place the second hedge place the third hedge and start to look for the right edge where you can nest uh, you know can ordinarily book profit at the beginning at the start remember to delete the pending order whenever you book profit the pending order that is yet to be triggered remember to delete it don't make mistakes of leaving it behind and it gets triggered and then now put your account into a big loss when you were not even online so remember to always tidy up, tidy up and close all the trades whenever you put profit, uh, whenever your edge pending order is not tri triggered. Okay, for those those just joining us, you may want to see uh, the parameters for the indicators on the screen. Let's look at the parameters. Let's look at the indicator settings for those interested in the indicator settings of this strategy at the main chart we have moving average period is 50 method simple color blue apply to close we also have another moving average period seven method simple color red then we have bollinger bands period six deviation 0 
another moving average period 200 metal simple color black and we have black fractals okay that helps to identify uh, support resistance areas we have another moving average period 21 uh, method exponential okay another we have another uh, indicator window bs power okay period is uh, 12 uh, period is 13 rather then we have macd 12 26 we also have parabolic SCR step 0.03 okay then we have indicator window 2 boost power period to be 13 okay color orange okay macd uh, 12 26 9 color red for the signal style and uh, parabolic SEL, okay, step 0 0.03, maximum 0 0.3, color uh, red. Then for indicator window 3, we have average true range, period to be 13, okay. We have moving average, period to be 200, method simple. Okay, another moving average, period to be 60 method simple previous indicators data another moving average period to be 20 method simple uh, previous indicators data then another moving average period to be five method simple previous indicators data color red then indicator window four or three we have macd 20 26 9 uh stochastic oscillator 23 3 okay so that's that about the uh, uh, uh indicator settings look at price going up now um the closure the booking of the profit was a good decision as price is trying to retrace so that's that don't forget to subscribe hit the like button turn off the turn up the notification and it's bye for now